Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in a one horse open sledge. Hey, it's Christmas and what better way to celebrate it? It with nice scrumptious food. I'm my own center today and I'm treating myself with a delicious appetizer. I call it Black Forest Chicken Steak. So let's start cooking. For black forest steak, I'm using chicken mince, but you can substitute it with lamb mince. First, I'm going to add garlic. Next, I'm going to add onions. With that, I'm going to add yellow bell pepper and red bell pepper. And now I'm going to add pomberry mustard. Freshly chopped rosemary. Rosemary and mustard, when paired together, give lots of flavor to the meat. And next, I'm going to add white pepper one beaten egg and last salt now I'm gonna mix my black forest stuffing together steak preparation requires various cuts of meat I'm using chicken mince you can use any type of cuts it depends on preparation to preparation and last for binding and crunchiness I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs I'll again mix the stuffing And now we'll prepare our steaks. Now I'm going to grease my mold so that while making the steak, the chicken should not stick to the mold. After greasing the mold, I'll put the filling into the mold. I will fill one fourth of the mold because that is the size I require for the steak. Now I'll remove my mold, take a spatula and transfer the steak onto the plate. My steaks are now ready. To give a black forest feeling, I'm gonna put some crushed pepper on top. To make sure my pepper steak get nicely set, I'm gonna keep it in the fridge for at least 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's prepare our black pepper sauce. I'm gonna add some oil. With oil, I'm going to add garlic, followed by onion. Nicely saute them for at least one to two minutes. And now I'm going to add rosemary stick. And to pair with rosemary, I'm going to add red wine. After adding wine, I'm going to let the wine reduce. Rosemary is a wine friendly herb and it pairs very well with medium and dry wines. For example, like Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Pinot Noir. As the wines start reducing, first I'm going to add some crushed pepper. Nicely mix it. Now I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of tomato sauce. I'll switch off the gas, finish with little salt, mix it up nicely. My sauce is now ready, now I'll strain it. Now it's time to bring out the steaks for grilling. I'll heat up my pan, let's start grilling. First, I'm going to add oil. Now I'm going to pick up one steak and place it. At this stage, to sear the chicken, I'm going to add a little wine. Till the pan little and put the wine on the chicken so that the flavor of the wine get nicely mixed up with the steak. And wine not only enhance the flavor of the meat but also help keeping it moist and tender. My black forest steaks are now ready. Now I'll pour the pepper sauce which I prepared earlier and finally garnish it with fresh chopped parsley. Here you go guys, my black forest chicken steak with pepper sauce is now ready. Sweetest are the memories that we share together and on that account I wish all the viewers a merriest Christmas. This is Sher Pratik signing off. Take care and goodbye.